Welcome to the Unraveling Scriptures channel. More often than not, one hears more about the three sons of Noah, the repopulators of the world after the great flood that occurred in antiquity. Noah's sons Shem, Ham and Japheth were responsible for repopulating the planet along with their respective wives. In this video, I will address the three wives, Noah's daughters-in-law. If you were curious about this subject, I ask you to leave your like, your comment and subscribe to the channel Unveiling the Scriptures. It's important to remember that we have our The Origin of Peoples According to the Bible series, where we explore all the lineages of Noah's sons. In this video, however, we will focus on a topic that has been requested by many people, which is about the matriarchs of humanity. With that said, enjoy more of this channel content, the hidden story of Noah's three daughters-in-law, the wives of Shem, Ham and Japheth. For those who are not familiar with this subject, these are the wives mentioned in the story of Noah's Ark, who were part of the family that survived the flood, as narrated in the Bible's book of Genesis. They are the wives of Noah's sons, Noah's daughters-in-law, and also include Noah's own wife. Although the Bible does not mention the names of these women, it confirms their existence. In this video, you'll find out all about them based on the Bible, plus information from Jubilees, Sibylline Oracles, and other ancient manuscripts. According to the Book of Jubilees, the wife of Shem, who was the father of the Semitic peoples, was called Sedequetelbab. Sedequetelbab was the wife of Shem and the mother of the Semitic peoples, according to the Sibylline Oracle. She enjoyed an incredibly long lifespan, living for centuries after the flood. During that time, she had many sons and daughters, as mentioned in the Bible. Furthermore, Sedequetelbab was a prophetess while in the land of Mesopotamia. According to the Sibylline Oracle, she transmitted prophecies to each generation that arose from her offspring, along with her husband Shem. There are some ancient Christian traditions which state the following, these traditions have their origins in the Christian Saint Hippolytus and report the existence of an ancient Targum in Syriacus which somewhat resembles the Book of Jubilees, although apparently there is a change in the names of the wives of Shem and Ham. The books of Genesis and Chronicles mention descendants, such as those of Sedequetelbab and Shem, who are Elam, Ashur, Arphaxad, Lud and Aram. In addition, the Bible also makes reference to the grandchildren of this woman who was the mother of the Semitic peoples. The grandsons mentioned are the sons of Aram, son of Shem and Sedequetelbab, who are Uzi, Hull, Geder and Meshech. Sedequetelbab, wife of Shem, is considered the matriarch of several Semitic peoples of antiquity. She is recognized as the matriarch of the Elamites, the Elamite peoples, as well as the Chaldean peoples descended from Arphaxad and the Akkadians. Furthermore, she is considered the ancestor of the ancient Arameans, descendants of Aram, and of the ancient Lydians in Anatolia, according to the Book of Jubilees. As the mother of all the sons of Shem mentioned in the biblical text, she was also the mother of Ashur, the progenitor of the Assyrians. The ancient Assyrians, being also a Semitic people in antiquity, are descendants of this woman named Sedequetelbab in Jubilees. As for the origin of Sedequetelbab, some sources suggest that she was a descendant of Cain, the lineage of Cain, or even a mixture of the descent of Seth and Cain. Others claim that she was a woman of Seth's descent, but that point is still debated. Now, regarding the wife of Ham, the youngest son of Noah, who was the father of the Hamite peoples, known as Africans and South Indians, according to the Book of Jubilees, his wife is called Nile to Miyuke. Therefore, Nile to Miyuke was the mother of the African peoples, of the Kushite peoples, of the peoples descended from Canaan, like the ancient Canaanites, and she was also the ancestor of the peoples descended from Mizraim, the ancient Egyptians, since Mizraim or Misraim it was his son. She was also the mother of Cush, the ancestor of the ancient Ethiopians and Nubians who still live in regions of Africa, such as Sudan, Ethiopia, Somalia, Eritrea, among others. According to genealogies, the peoples of South India, known as the Dravidians and considered the original inhabitants of India, would also be descended from Nile to Miyuke, 
who is the mother of both Africans and South Indians. Following the Sibylline oracles, like Setakitaleb, wife of Shem, Nile to Miyuke also enjoyed an extraordinarily long life as a pre-flood woman, living to an advanced age. These characters lived to be 600 or 700 years old, and there is speculation that she lived longer than Cam himself. As she lived for centuries, she also uttered different types of prophecies to each succeeding generation that would be descended from her and her husband Ham. Regarding Ham's wife, there are ancient legends present in Christian traditions, such as that transmitted by Hippolytus, who died in 235 AD. According to this ancient tradition, Ham's wife is also called, as mentioned in the Book of Jubilees, Nile to Miyuke. A curious legend about Ham's wife reports that God instructed Noah to destroy the first person who announced the beginning of the flood. At this time Ham's wife was baking bread, and when water suddenly came out of the oven and destroyed the bread, she exclaimed that the flood was beginning. God then suddenly cancelled his earlier order that Noah not destroy his own daughter-in-law, who was destined to be saved from the flood. This story about Ham's wife is very similar to the story of Abraham and Isaac, when Abraham was about to offer Isaac as a sacrifice to God in the episode known as the Holocaust. Thus, we can notice the similarity between these two stories, in which God tests the faith of his servants involving a loved one. Regarding the wife of Japhet, who is considered the ancestral father of the Indo-European and Asiatic peoples, according to the Book of Jubilees, his wife is called the Adetanesis or Adetanesh, in the same way that Nile to Miyuke is the wife of Ham and Setequetelbab is the wife of Shem. Like Noah's other daughters-in-law, Adetanese enjoyed an incredibly long lifespan due to being born before the flood. At that time, people had a much higher life expectancy than just after the flood, although she also lived even after the flood. She lived for centuries. Furthermore, like the other daughters-in-law, Adetanesis was also a prophetess. In fact, all of Noah's daughters-in-law were prophetesses, according to the Sibylline oracles. While alive, Adetanesis uttered several prophecies for each generation and each people of her offspring that would arise after her death, in addition to subsequent prophecies to her own, due to the fact that she had lived hundreds and hundreds of years. Ada then witnessed the growth and prosperity of many of the people who descended from her and her husband, Japheth. Noah himself foresaw that Japheth's seed would expand and become numerous. A notable example of this is China, where the population is immensely large. The Chinese are descendants of Tagarma, who was the grandson of Japheth and the grandson of the Adetanesis, according to the Bible and the Book of Jubilees. Adetanesis was the mother of the sons of Japheth, including Gomer, who was his first son, Magog, Madai, Javan, Tubal, Meshech and Tiras. In addition to these seven sons, they also had many daughters, as well as other sons who are not specifically mentioned in the genealogies, as well as several daughters who are not mentioned to avoid an exhaustive list. The grandchildren of Adetanesis and Japheth include Elisa, or Elixa, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. In this way, the descendants of Adathanes and Japheth spread through their sons and daughters, forming different peoples and nations over the centuries. Adetanesis is considered the ancestral mother of the Gomorites, also known as ancient Sumerians, who were descendants of Gomer. In early antiquity, the Gomorites divided into three distinct groups, the descendants of Tagarma, the descendants of Riphat, and the descendants of Ashkenaz. Tagarma's descendants gave rise to Far Asian peoples such as Chinese, Mongolian, Japanese, and Korean. The descendants of Riphat became the Celtic peoples, while the Ashkenazic descendants gave rise to the Vikings, Germanic and Slavic peoples. It is important to mention that there is a debate about the descent of Asian peoples, such as Chinese, Japanese and Koreans. Some argue that they are descended from Sin, one of the sons of Canaan, while other traditions and interpretations suggest that they are descended from Tagarma, grandson of Japheth and grandson of Adetanesis. The issue of the ethnic origin of these peoples is still an object of study and discussion.
We have a video addressing the origin of Asian peoples and we made it more evident, the video link will be here in the description so you can watch it later. In addition to these peoples, the indigenous peoples and tribes of the Americas and other regions, the natives of Russia are also descendants of Adetanesis and Japheth, as well as descendants of Tagarma. It is interesting to note that there are several ancient traditions, such as Christian, Jewish, Anglo-Saxon, Rabbinic, Islamic and Irish, which mention these three fascinating and curious biblical women in their traditions, recognizing them as matriarchs of humanity. In case you haven't heard it yet, we have a series on our channel that explores the origins of peoples according to the Bible, addressing the history of the descendants of Shem, Ham and Japheth, as well as their wives. The playlist will be available on the final screen. Leave your opinion about this video in the comments, we intend to make a series about each of Noah's daughters-in-law, approaching their origins based on the scriptures, leave a comment if you are interested. See you soon.